Today's the day to get ready for that storm. It's Tuesday. They're saying it's going to hit on Thursday. To wait till tomorrow might be a madhouse. Hang on. Let's talk about it. Orlando Prepper coming at you guys. Part two of getting ready for Helene. All right. We know she's coming. Uh, hopefully it won't be as bad as they're saying, but they're saying it could possibly elevate to a level three hurricane. We don't want that. <laughs> Believe me. But there's a couple other things I wanted to touch base on. Uh, if you saw my video on Sunday telling you to get ready, it was pretty basic. You know, it just basically said get three days worth of food and water. Uh, you know, plug in your battery, your chargeable components, have extra batteries, stuff like that. It was just kind of vague. And I got a couple of emails from folks wanting to know a little more about what to do. So I thought I'd crank this out right quick. But if you're going to prep for the storm, today is the day to do it. It's Tuesday. Okay, if you're in Florida, it's supposed to hit on when, uh, Thursday. Wednesday might be a problem trying to get supplies. So get out there today and get them. Uh, a couple of things you want to do for sure. Top off that gas tank. Uh, and if you have a generator that runs on gasoline, get you a couple of fuel, fuel cans and make sure they're full just in case. You also want to drop by your ATM and pick up some cash. That's always a good idea. Uh, it's not like it's going to go bad. <laughs> not anytime real soon, anyway. It might go bad, but I don't see that happening in the next, you know, month or so. But uh, not just the people in Florida. People in Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, you folks need to get ready, too. Because this is a big storm. The wind field is huge. Uh, we're going to have, if it, if it does go into the Big Bend area, like they're saying, up in uh, northwest Florida, here in Orlando, we're going to get tropical storm winds up to 50 or 60 miles an hour. And it's going to be that way all the way uh, through the southeast when this thing uh, makes landfall, pretty sure. Uh, I mean, I know there's going to be high winds and storm damage in Georgia, maybe parts of Alabama and South Carolina. So you guys need to get ready as well. I got a couple of links down in the description below you can click on uh, for weather updates. I got Mike's weather page, who's always on the ball. And I also got Mr. Weatherman, who's local here in Orlando, Brian Shields. He does some great videos, does them every day, keeps you on top of things. But one email I got was from somebody wanting to know what kind of food they could actually store for something like this. So I'm going to go over a couple of things real quick. Get you a case of water. Got to have a case of water. Uh, get you some good canned foods, canned meats, canned vegetables. Uh, make sure you have a can opener. We've all seen the old joke where the guy's in the bunker with all of his canned foods and he don't have a manual can opener. So make sure you have one of those. Get you, uh, you know, a jar of peanut butter and some bread and crackers, things like that. That you know you can munch on beef jerky, or trail mix. You know those are good, good to have. You also want to get you some instant oatmeal. Uh, instant coffee, some tea bags, and make sure you have a way to heat that water. Uh, I don't know about you, but if I had to face a morning without my coffee, it might be a problem. Might be needing bail money. <laughs> but hopefully, that'll help you out. Uh, those things are easy to get. Like I said, get them today. You don't want to wait until tomorrow, especially if you're in Florida, South Georgia. It's not going to be pretty, folks. Get it done. You know you got to do it. And with that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the USA. The Orlando Prepper is out.